band that has great family values, the Stockdale Family Band. It's a hard life, but it's a good, good life. That's the country life. The Stockdale Family Band has been around for about three years playing for the public. We have four sons, Calvin, who's 19, Charles, who's 16, Jacob, who's 15, and James, 11. Being in the band teaches our children to work together. It allows them to earn money. I really enjoy bluegrass music. You know, you don't find mandolin in many other genres. I sell CDs. I manage the finances. Kathy and husband Tim moved from the city to rural Ohio in isolation in order to shelter and protect their sons. We moved out to the farm to develop wholesome values in our children. The day we moved, we heard gunshots in our neighborhood and I knew we had made the right decision. The Stockdales are devoutly religious. Praise the Lord for he is high. Amen. And have banned TV and video games, believing it's their moral responsibility to censor all that their kids watch and listen to. I'll take a tall glass of water, please. I don't think my parents would allow me to listen to pop. We do not allow any cussing. Aw, oh, rats. I think that dating has uh, physical dangers, like pregnancy. It's not worth it. I've never been on a date. There's better ways to find out about girls than dating. I have not kissed a girl in a romantic way. And the boys are also homeschooled in order to control their influences. It's important we have control over their character and their education. In order to earn privileges, the boys must gain tokens by completing a chore they must then check off on a chart. It also addresses attitudes. Just because the job is done does not mean it's necessarily done in the right way. The boys pay 20 tokens to listen to a radio show. It's important to instill in our children that you need to work and not expect to have a handout. The work I have to do is sweep the porch, sweep all the downstairs, clear the table, unload the dishwasher. It's kind of boring after a while, doing it for about eight years. We raise a lot of our own vegetables. We raise all of the meat that we eat. That one's dead. That one's a little bit not dead. I like to cook from scratch. I like to cook from nutritious food. But Kathy is about to abandon her wholesome, pure, hardworking bluegrass boys to swap lives with a woman she's never met 450 miles away in Illinois. That was clean.